Hi there, I'm Alicia. Hi there, I'm Kevin. And welcome to PCI Tech TV, where we pass on tech tips and new product information from PCI Geomatics. Today we're talking about a new offering PCI has introduced this year called the Geoimaging Accelerator, or the GXL. Now, the volume of Earth observation imagery collected from satellite and aerial sensors has seen a drastic increase in recent years. The trend has been towards more frequent collections, higher resolution, and accuracy requirements. This has resulted in a sharp increase in volume of uncorrected imagery in typical data collection projects. Now, PCI's GXL technology was developed in response to this trend and provides highly automated image pre-processing capability that scales easily to meet production requirements. GXL is based on PCI's core technology that we've been developing for the past 28 years, and it leverages new hardware such as dual and quad-core CPUs, as well as high-speed processors used in video gaming applications, known as graphical processing units or GPUs. These can help accelerate throughput by as much as 60 times since the GXL system uses multi-thread processing. Here we have a portable version of PCI's GXL system which has been deployed on a high-end gaming machine. This is a Dell Alienware laptop, which includes an Intel Core 2 Quad CPU, 8 gigabytes of RAM, as well as a 1 gigabyte NVIDIA GPU card. The GXL software has been installed on this machine and makes full use of the available resources through multi-threaded processing. Essentially, the software is designed to complete the task quickly and efficiently using the available computing resources on this machine. This instance of the GXL includes a single processing node with four CPUs and one GPU. Now GXL can be deployed in a distributed environment where other nodes can be added to meet specific throughput requirements. Other typical configurations are desk side and rack mounted GXL systems. In today's demonstration, I'm going to show you the typical workflow for the GXL system using 10 individually collected spot four images over British Columbia, Canada. I'm gonna start up the GXL system. As you can see, the front end of the system is available through a web browser, since it's HTML based. The GXL system is controlled through an interactive job processing system, which provides information on the processing nodes, as well as the ability to submit and track processing jobs. For this laptop configuration, the available CPUs and GPU make, the, make up the single processing node. Other configurations of the GXL would include all processing nodes available. Adding or removing processing capability through these nodes makes the GXL system highly scalable. I'm going to submit a new processing job for the GXL system using the SPOT4 data over British Columbia, Canada. From the Submit Job screen, you can select the type of job you want the GXL system to perform. For this demonstration, I will submit an orthorectification job. I'll use a descriptor for this job so that we can find it easily in the GXL status page. This particular job has been pre-configured, so I can go ahead and pick it from the drop-down list. Once I hit submit, the GXL system automatically parses the input folder, determines which scenes need to be orthorectified, and then it will set up a series of jobs in the database for each job that needs to be performed. The processing nodes constantly check the database looking for jobs to perform. Our processing node has discovered the new job to perform and is now processing the 10 spot scenes. While the processing is occurring, we can switch to the image footprint tool to get a sense of the overall production status. The individual boxes represent the 10 spot scenes. The status of the image processing is updated dynamically on both the GXL status page as well as the footprint view. As you can see, the duration of the processing for each spot 4 scene is roughly 15 seconds per image, and overall, 10 images were processed in 3 minutes in a completely automated manner. Thanks Kevin. So how is processing on the GXL different compared with conventional image processing methods? As compared to conventional methods, there's a lot of differences. The main ones are automation. Aside from initially setting up the parameters and checking the status, there's no need for manual entry in GXL. GXL uses multi-CPU and GPU-specific code, so the acceleration over conventional image processing is up to 60 times faster. Also, scalability. Processing nodes can be added on as needed, so throughput can be improved by simply adding additional processing resources. GXL was designed this way to, to tailor specific throughput based on the customer's specific requirements. That's great. Well, that's all for this episode of PCI's Tech TV. Be sure to check us out at PCIGeomatics.tv regularly for upcoming tech tips and new product information.